This is a pattern that I originally tied to imitate the Emerging Midge, but with the addition of crystal flash wings, it can also cover the many crippled midge that fish will often feed on as they're floating down the river, trapped in the surface film. I have a size 18 TMCO 2487G in the vise, and I'm going to start with the tying thread just behind the eye of the hook and work down the hook shank in touching turns. I'll just stop there and snip away the unwanted thread and now I'll carry on down the shank and round the bend of the hook slightly and then I'll come back up the hook again in touching turns. And this is my body length and I want to think about breaking the body length into thirds if you want and I want to stop the thread about a third of the body length back from the eye just to give me room to tie in the wing and dub in front of it to make it stand upright. So I'll now prepare a CDC feather by simping away the fibres, unwanted fibres if you want at the base of the, the stem and I'll hold that in with one turn, keep the tension on, pull the feather through until I have about the equivalent of the body length sticking out the f over the eye of the hook. Now I'll snip that stub away. Prepare another feather by stripping away the fibres at the base again. Take one turn to hold it in position, keep the tension on, pull it through and use the first feather to gauge the length of the second. Once that's in position I'll take another wrap to hold it and again snip away the unwanted stub. Depending on the quality of your feathers that may be sufficient but uh, with this particular fly I'm just going to add one more. just a personal thing I don't like the CDC to be too sparse I want to know that uh, that tuft of CDC will support the fly so again one turn hold it in position pull it to length another turn or two to hold it in position and then snip away the stub And now I've removed that unwanted section of stem, I'll just take two or three wraps to cover over the remaining fibres. And now we want to apply some dubbing to the thread to form the thorax. We don't need a lot, it's just a short section. So we wind up the hook shank to the base of those CDC fibres. And now we're ready for the crystal flash. I'm just going to take about an inch and a half length of crystal flash and lay it against the hook and just do a single figure of eight to hold it in position. Now I'll just straighten that up on the hook and then I'm going to take the two fibres either side of the tying in point and stroke them back towards the rear of the hook and take two or three wraps over the top of them and now we should have created a V of crystal flash pointing back towards the rear of the hook. That's nice. And now we can apply some more dubbing to the tying in thread and finish the thorax area. So we'll just cover up that tying in point there, two or three wraps to the base of the fibres and now we're going to stroke the fibres back and tie, or dub sorry, in front of them. We want this wing, this CDC wing sitting vertical so 
when I apply the dubbing, I stroke the fibers back and I want to dub tight into the base so that dubbing forces them up into the vertical position. We don't want those fibers to come back over the eye of the hook or the fly might sit in the wrong position in the water. So we'll dub tight into there and now I'm happy with that. So stroke them back out of the way and we'll form the head. And we'll do a whip finish and we can remove the tying in thread. Just use the scissors to control that as I pull it in. Snip away that unwanted thread. And now we're ready to cut the crystal flash to length. I, yet, I use the uh, bend of the hook to gauge the length. I want it approximately the same length or slightly shorter than the distance from the thorax or the tying in point to the bend of the hook. And if you can see now the uh, crystal flash wing is sitting relatively horizontal. And that's the reason that uh, I partially dub the thorax before applying the crystal flash. The, uh, the small piece of dubbing just acts as a base or a support to ensure that the wing sits at the right angle. So now we're uh, ready to just apply a little bit of varnish to the head of the fly and that should be it finished. That crystal flash wing is just possibly a touch longer than I'd like. I'll just trim a little bit off. That's it, I'm happy with that. I'll just try to zoom in to give you a better look and give it a turn in the vise to have a look at it from different angles. You may have noticed as we've gone along and in the dressing that I class the crystal flash wing as a secondary wing. The reason for that is that I think of the CDC as my primary wing that supports the fly in the surface and the crystal flash wing is there as a secondary trigger if you want. In the case of an emerging midge it could suggest the wings of the adult as it breaks free of the pupil shook or as a crippled midge they could suggest the waterlogged wings of the midge stuck in the meniscus as it floats helplessly down the river. Either way it's been a good fly for me so I hope it works for you if you want to try it.